Welcome to this quick start video for NSFBA for WooCommerce. We're going to walk through the settings very quickly. It's super easy to set up. We've laid out the options configuration page in a way that you can follow it top to bottom and be ready to go in no time at all. You'll find the settings page for NSFBA under the Amazon Fulfillment menu under the main WooCommerce menu. The first step that you need to do if, if this is your first time installing and activating NSFBA is to register for an MWS account. We provide the links for each region here and when you click on that link you'll be taken to a login page for Seller Central where you can log in and walk through a quick wizard to follow the process of getting your credentials. You'll want to select this first option here, click Next, and it will provide you with the numbers and, and values you need to provide to the plugin. You can copy and paste those from what Seller Central provides you. We've named the, the labels identical to the way Amazon provides those numbers, so it's very straightforward. You'll also want to pick your, your URL. This URL is for your home region, and we provided those values there. That's so that you can connect to the right server. Once you've filled everything out and followed the instructions on on certain fields, you can save those settings. Next, you move on to step two. The inventory section controls how NSFBA keeps your stock levels in sync with Amazon levels. Um, you can provide an active real SKU here for the inventory test connection, and that will tell you if it's configured correctly. Then you'll probably want to leave both of these settings turned on. By default, these control how the stock levels are synced. And then if this is your first time, like I said, setting this up, you'll probably want to sync all local stock levels manually. You can come back and do this at any time if you have major inventory changes or Amazon receives a shipment or anything else you want to make sure it's up to date. Just come back and click sync all, and that'll do it in real time. Finally, we have the um, fulfillment settings. You'll probably want to provide a prefix. This will go into Amazon and help you help you find uh, your multi-channel fulfillment orders and differentiate those from your Amazon orders inside Seller Central. You can also map your shipping speeds in FBA to your WooCommerce shipping methods and those are automatically detected for you. These are configured inside WooCommerce. You'll just use the normal WooCommerce shipping zones, WooCommerce shipping methods, and even third-party methods will also show up here as long as they are active. So configure your shipping and then head over here to NSFBA to map these. These are what Amazon calls their shipping speeds, and you can see more about those by consulting with Amazon's documentation. There are extra fees for some of those shipping methods, so be sure that you understand that. Um, you can keep this default setting, but there's more information at this link to understand how the fulfillment policies work in terms of things like back orders and, and all of that. That's really all you need to know. The rest of the settings are, are kind of icing on the cake. Um, you, can, you can specify a different email address other than the normal WordPress administrator email if you want error messages and copies of the customer shipping notifications to go to a different place. Um, you can also optionally turn on or off the errors um, that it will send you if, if orders fail to, to go to FBA. And then you can um, check this box to set orders to the complete status instead of the custom statuses that come with NSFBA. These other settings will have other videos that cover them. Um, NSFBA is extremely powerful to um, control all the different aspects of how orders are sent from WooCommerce to Amazon. So please check those out. Um, the last thing that you need to do is set up every product that you want to be sent to Amazon for fulfillment. And you do that by editing the product settings under each product in the shipping tab. Under the product settings for WooCommerce, there's a custom setting called Fulfill with Amazon FBA. Every product that has this setting turned on will be sent to FBA for fulfillment when an order containing that product is placed. Finally, we can quickly look at how the orders are presented to you. There are several statuses, sent to FBA, failed to FBA, and another status called partial to FBA if you have some orders with products going to Amazon and other products that are not going to Amazon. And at a glance, you can see the status of all those things in your order section. Inside an individual order, you'll notice the order notes 
will keep track of everything that's happening with that order as it is sent to FBA or certain products are left out of the order because of their settings. We also have a custom order action called send to Amazon FBA. This allows you to manually send an order to Amazon and you would select that and click the go arrow to make that happen. Finally, we, we now support um, tracking information pulled right onto the view order screen for each customer in their my account details area and this will dynamically be pulled every time this page is refreshed um, for a specific order that has been sent to FBA. So I hope you enjoy this quick start video and you should be up and running in no time. It's very fast to configure and very easy to use and it will for the most part handle everything behind the scenes automatically for you to integrate WooCommerce and Amazon Fulfillment.